Hello everyone. In today's video, I want to talk about a problem that、uh, many beginners will had when they first start learning programming, which is how to get user input from console. So in Java, there are actually、uh, multiple ways、uh, to get user input from console. So in order to get the user input,、uh, first we will need a input stream. Uh, to store the information about our connection、uh, between the input device and our computer. Next, we will need another class to、uh, actually getting the input from that input stream. So the most popular way, you know, in Java to get user input is to use the scanner class. Now, let me show you an example、uh, how to use scanner to read user input. So right here,、um, I have a brand new project called User Input, and within my main method,、uh, which is the starting point of my program,、uh, is where where I should、um, initialize my scanner object. So I'll say scanner. I will call it input, right? Equals、uh, new. Let's first、uh, import the Java dot uto dot scanner package. And then inside the parentheses,、uh, it's where we pass in our input stream. And the input stream we're going to use is called System. Dot in. So, just like you know, when we want to print out things, we use System. Dot out.、Um, if we want to input something, we use System. Dot in. Next,、uh, let's print out some prompt on the console to let the user know that we need some input. So let's say system. Dot out. Dot print.、Uh, I'll use print. I'll say uh, please uh, type some input. Next is where we use our input scanner that we just defined、uh, to capture、um, the user input from the console. First, let's define a variable to hold that value. Uh, I'll say it's type of string, and name is、uh, user input,、uh, and it is equal to input dot next line.、Uh, so what the next line does is that it will capture whatever the user typed,、uh, and then store that value, you know, inside of user input. Now. Uh, we can、uh, print out that user input and verify if it is the same as whatever the user typed, right? So let's、uh, print out、uh, the user input and say、uh, you just entered plus、uh, user input. So if they're the same. Uh, which means we successfully captured the user input from the console. So let's run this program. And so please type some input. I'll say hello world, and you just entered hello world. So there we go, guys.、Uh, we successfully captured、uh, the user input、uh, using the scanner class. Now. One more thing to、uh, mention is that、uh, here we define the user input as a string,、uh, but other than capture strings,、uh, the scanner can also capture other data types as well. For example,、uh, if I want to input an integer, I can say int and number equals、uh, input dot next、uh, int, right? And as you can see, you know, as I'm typing, right?、Uh, I say if I say next,、um, the IDE's auto completion will give me some suggestions on, you know, what I can call on the scanner class.、Uh, it has next float, next byte, next int, next short. It also have like big decimal, big integer, and boolean, and double, and long. So basically, you know, it supports, you know, all、um, all the data types in Java. Okay, now I will just complete by next int.、Um, so if you know like what type of data 
uh, your program wants, uh, you can limit it the, the data type that your user can input into your program, right? But if you're not sure, uh, you can use the next line method. Um, so, so that it will treat anything as a string, right? Then you can parse that string uh, for own use. But if you know, like you need integer or you need a Boolean, you can use the, the next int or next Boolean method uh, to uh, limit that uh, input type. And if the user enter a wrong type, right, the uh, compiler will throw an exception uh, to stop that from running. So that's it guys, uh, a very short video on how to get user input from console. I uh, hope you guys liked it and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.